today. Today, we're talking to real estate investors. So if you are a real estate investor now, if you're looking to break into investing in real estate, well, then you're in the right spot. So I'm going to teach you today how to get about a quarter million dollars or more within six months of business credit. I mean, this is the kind of credit that doesn't require a personal guarantee, doesn't require a personal credit check. This is the type of credit that anybody can get. Even if you're just launching a business like today, I'm going to show you how to actually succeed. And then we're going to talk about how you can use this money to actually get in and invest into real estate. Use this to be able to get your properties. Use this to be able to fix up, to rehab the properties. Get this to maintain long-term rentals. Whatever you're looking to do with real estate, we're going to get you the money right now today. So let's jump in and let's get started. So today I'm going to show you my proven formula that's helped over 50,000 entrepreneurs successfully build business credit. Real estate investors is the number one niche that we serve. It's the number one industry that we serve. So tens of thousands of the clients that we've had have been real estate investors and we've gotten them the money they needed to either break into the industry or really thrive in the industry. And I'm also going to show you how any business can actually use this formula to get unlimited access to business credit. Look, that's what I love about business credit. There's no limit to how much you can get. It's not like a credit line that has a limit or a loan that has a loan amount. With business credit, you can get as much money as you actually want to get into. It's one of the only funding solutions out there where it's unlimited limited. You can get as much as you're applying for. So I'm going to show you how to get the 250000 in six months. I'm going to show you how to then tap into this and get unlimited access to money through business credit to continue to grow and scale your business. Now, look, if you have failed before to try to build business credit, it's not your fault. Okay, well, I have found that there's two main reasons that most people fail trying to build business credit. The first is, is they're just listening to the wrong people, right? With TikTok, with Instagram, we've seen so many overnight gurus pop up and maybe they built some business credit for them. But what they're doing for themselves isn't going to work for the masses. Okay, so not, not knowing from experts that have helped tens of thousands of people through this means that you're getting maybe some singular advice of what worked for one person, but not necessarily going to work for you. The second thing is, is banks absolutely do not want you to know what I'm about to reveal today. They just don't. The bottom line is if everybody knew what I'm about to teach you, then everybody would be able to go into these banks and start getting massive amounts of money with high limit credit cards that they could use to do any number of things, all without personal guarantees, right? So you can imagine how that would be problematic. And so banks kind of keep this information from you. And then with gurus teaching you the wrong info, this accounts for a lot of people trying to break into business credit and then failing to do so. So these are the types of things we're going to overcome today. By the way, tell me where you're coming in from. Give me a shout out and tell me what industry you're in. I always like to say hello and I always like to know who I'm talking to. So Dan, thanks for coming in. And Delanda has failed to do this. Don't worry, Delanda. We're going to talk about what probably caused you to fail. or We're going to provide you a clear path to success today. Bertha's in here saying money, money, money. I love that. Jeff, thanks for coming in as well. Thanks, everybody. Come and say hi. Tell me your company name. I'll give you a shout out here on the stream as time permits. So results disclaimer, right? You're not going to just get $250,000 unless you're really using the credit to grow your business. The reality is you are the one that decides how much money you're going to get because you are the one ultimately applying for the money. So the success formula here is we've got to get you access to credit, but then you've got to use that credit to actually grow your business. Then that gets you higher credit limits. Then we repeat the process. But this only works if you're getting credit and using credit because the reporting agencies are reporting how much credit you're using. So if you're getting the credit and not using it, well, then that's problematic. We're not going to be able to get you the most amount of money. So you've got to be able to execute this formula to tap in and get $250,000 plus, plus, plus in funding to be able to grow your business. Now, when you get it right, Here's an example of what it looks like. This is one of our clients, Christine Farrell. Uh, and I'll skip some of this, but hey, two years ago when we found Credit Suite, we were almost ready to shut down and say enough is enough. We can't do it anymore. Since that day, we've gotten fuel cards, credit with most major retailers, cash credit, 185000 in auto loans, equipment financing, and credit lines totaling over $1 million. At first, the money gave us the opportunity to keep our company open. Since then, we've expanded from a one-truck operation to buying a 50-truck operation, and we've been able to use business credit to open another company as well. We've been able to hire more drivers, pay the bills when it's comfortable to us, just given us more flexibility. Plus, it gives our company a better rating 
And that's gotten us more customers. Credit Suisse, the real deal. We're so appreciative of all they've done for you. This this may sound familiar to you. We have somebody here that had credit issues, had everything against her, is out there trying to get money, worked with multiple business credit companies and failed, and then unlocked the formula, money starts pouring in, gets over a million in business credit, expands the operation 50X, creates another company at the same time. This is what's possible once this formula is unlocked for you to tap in and get the business credit that you deserve to get. Now, when we look at Christine, here's some of her approvals. Here's the $300,000 credit line. Here's another Dell approval for her. Here's her credit report showing all of her high credit limits. Uh, here's talking about all the accounts on her actual Dun & Bradstreet Equifax Experian credit reports. Hey, uh, quote, our lease trucks for the oil fields, all done on business credit. So yes, it's all, uh, so yes, all my driver family keep up the grind. So here's her buying an 18 wheeler on uh, using business credit to do so. Here's her looking at attractive land that they're buying to expand their business as well. Some more accounts showing hundreds of thousands of dollars of available credit from her business credit report. Uh, and you get the idea, right? I mean, here's a lot of evidence to support her path along the way to getting a million dollars of business credit. By the way, she got 185,000 at Ford without a personal guarantee and credit check. And this is the monster she bought. I mean, that's a pretty cool truck. I love that thing as well. But it just gives you an idea of what's possible for you. So who is this for? Well, this is for dreamers, doers, rebels, risk takers, trailblazers. I mean, if you are crazy enough to follow your dreams, well, then you're in the right place. If you're looking to break into real estate investing, or if you're already in the industry now looking for more money to expand, again, you're in the right place. Startups, if you have credit issues, no collateral, if you've been denied before, if you have doubts about getting capital, we're going to get past all of that today and give you a proven formula to success. I don't care if you're looking for 10 grand or millions, this formula is going to work for you if you are looking to grow faster than you are and you know that if you just had money, you could grow faster. Like you could buy more properties. You could break into the industry. You could expand faster. If that's you, where money is the barrier from you moving quicker, then we're going to get past all those barriers today. And this is also for those who are going to use the money to legitimately do good things, right? Sometimes this attracts bad people because you can get money without a personal guarantee, without personal liability. We don't want that to happen. So this is for you if you're obviously going to use the money to do good things with it. So if that is you, then you are in the right place. So let's talk a little bit about my goal today. You're going to see me bouncing between screens. You're going to see me bouncing between a different uh, different uh, webinar. I got a webinar going on. I've got a live stream going on on multiple different platforms. So I'm trying to make sure I can say hello to everybody. Hey, Shanna, thanks for coming in. And uh, your name is Braids, uh, Braids by Shanna. I love that. Delonda, I'm in the rehabbing and investing industry, right? In the perfect place as well. Yes, it's all above. Uh, and again, we've got some other Paul Washington life coming in. Thanks for coming in. Jarena, uh, thanks for coming in. Bertha here, Huntington Beach, California. Thanks for coming in. I'm going to continue to come to the chat and say hello to everybody. So my goal is pretty simple. Goal one, I'm going to teach you how to unlock unlimited access to business credit for real estate investing today. Uh, two, I'm going to teach you how to get your first quarter million dollars within six months or less. And three, I'm going to show you how to get approved, even if you think there's no way you can. Like if you've been jaded, because you've tried and not been able to succeed with getting money. I'm going to get past all that today. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, now I completely understand what's prevented me from getting approved. And you're going to have a clear path forward to be able to get the results that you want. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Ty Crandall. I'm CEO of Credit Suite here. Uh, look, I've got the best selling book of all time on business credit. And this was back in 2012. So it goes to show you how long I've been doing this. I'm often known as the grandfather of the industry because I've been doing this so long. Uh, and I've also been fortunate fe featured commonly in places like Inc., Entrepreneur, Forbes. I'm on news stations all over the country. Whenever there's things that come up about business credit, I'm really seen as the authority in the space. So a lot of people come to me for that. And I always say that just so you know that this isn't just something that worked for me. I've been doing this a long time and helped tens and tens and tens of thousands of people. So I know the formula what I'm going to show you to you today is proven for well over a decade for many different people across multiple different industries. But that's not that's where I'm in today. It's not how I got here. And maybe you could relate to how I got here. So the first company I ever owned was a mortgage company. 
a lot of blood, sweat, tears, late nights, uh, building that into a million dollar business. Then the mortgage crisis occurred and I did jumbo loans. What I did overnight went away and I found myself with a successful office with lots of loan officers for them slowly leaving and needing to shut down the office, having to try to make personal funds to keep employees employed as long as I could. Eventually, the business basically shut down. I personally guaranteed everything. I was a lot of business owners do. I didn't know about business credit. There wasn't even information about business credit out there at the time. So everything that went with that happened, uh, meaning that when I defaulted on my business debts, the business debtors came after my personal assets. They literally took all the money out of my personal bank account. They reported my defaulted business debts on my consumer credit report. So my existing credit card companies removed all of my available credit. So now I owed 100% of what my limits were because my limits were lowered. I had no money. And as a result of that, foreclosures, repossessions, almost bankruptcy, uh, that's where I ended up, right? And I was at the lowest place I could be. I had no money. I had horrible credit trying to basically rebuild. Now, in my world, the reason I got into business was to be there for my kids, right? My dad worked so hard for our family, but he worked in evenings. He worked on weekends. And I saw that and I said, man, I want to own a business because I want to like take vacations on my kids and be there for all their sporting events. That's why I built the business to begin with. But the business completely failed. And as a result of that, I, I it's the first time in my life, I really started doing business to help people instead of doing business to make money. And I started a consumer credit business, started helping people fix their consumer credit business, our consumer credit after the mortgage crisis. Then people started to ask me about business credit because the results we produced were so good. And there was nothing about business credit out there. I mean, I was looking online and there was no information at all. You go to three, four, five pages of Google, horrible place. You should never want to be on the fifth page of Google just to try to find some basic info. And then what I started to realize what business credit could do that I started to be able to get it to get my consumer credit built. So I started to use it. Here I am with bad credit, a high risk industry, no money in the bank. And I started to use business credit to build my consumer credit business, then sold it, then started to build this business from scratch. And now because of business credit, it's helped me build a multiple seven and eight figure businesses as a result. And now I have like my dream life. Like I, I literally travel the world with my kids and we're going to Europe for two weeks, like Scotland and England and France and all these cool places. Uh, here's us, you know, driving doom buggies through the desert in Las Vegas or hanging out with wild, crazy animals in the Bahamas, or I don't even know which obscure island we were on riding horses. So it's helped me get from the worst place I've ever been near bankruptcy, repossessions, uh, foreclosures on my homes, uh, owing a lot of different money to digging myself out and building multiple seven, eight figures, having successful exits and building this company on our way to nine figures. So how can business credit do that for somebody in such a bad place? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. It really comes down to three steps that if you understand, you're going to be able to come in and start having those kind of results for yourself. But I'm going to give you the easy path because it took me 12 years to figure all of this stuff out. A lot of mistakes. Have you been there? Have you ever been the trendsetter and the one making mistakes and getting knocked down again and again and again? Versus somebody that already just gets with a guru or a coach or learns from somebody that's already been through all that and takes the shortcut. Well, I'm going to give you the shortcut today because it took me about 12 years to figure out the hard way to do this. And if you've been struggling, well, that's why. Like I said, too many gurus giving false information, too many communities that have bad information out there, banks not wanting you to get this information. It's all held you back until right now. When you get this right, and I'm going to come back to you, and I'm going to reference this several times through today because this incorporates all three secrets, and this is the result that you're going to be able to get, the same as Josh got it. I'm not going to read a lot of these. I'm going to show you testimonies and case studies today. I'm not going to read them all, but this one I need to read because it's very relatable for you and I, and it shows what happens when you put these three secrets together. So here's Josh Elledge from Orlando. Quote, one thing that's beautiful about Credit Suite is that you start with baby steps. The first thing that we did is get a couple of revolving credit lines and store credit. Then we graduated to gas cards. Then we ended up getting a very nice line of credit at Amazon. Then we worked our way up to getting a very, very nice SBA loan. Thanks to Credit Suite, we were able to really get our business finances in order from what looks good to potential lenders and potential creditors, and we became very attractive to lenders. The best options are always available to those that have their credit game locked down. 
And that's what the Credit Suite platform allows you to do. We've been able to make smart investments in staffing, marketing, sales systems, product development, all these things before Credit Suite we just couldn't do. I don't have to stress out because we've got money in the bank to take advantage of opportunities. I can keep a bank account and there's plenty of cushion in there. And that cushion just honestly makes me a better dad, makes me a better husband because I'm not stressing out. I can relate to this and I hope you can. I have literally sat there face to face with my kids and they're having a conversation and my brain is thinking about how I'm going to pay payroll. And then they'll say, what do you think, dad? And I'll be like, uh, and I'm afraid to admit that I've been standing this close to them and not even present. And then I've been in places like I just was in Utah with my kids, 100% present in their world. When we are together, I'm not thinking about work. I'm not trying to solve these problems. I'm there because the company's fine. I know the company's going to be okay. I know I've got money in the bank. I know I've got hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, in just absolute cash available credit, not to include the seven figures plus that we have in other types of credit available. The company's fine without me. So now I can be present. But you're also going to tie in. I'm going to reference this back because Josh also talks about each one of these three secrets and what he just said right here as well. So let's talk about the way you've probably been doing it. You've probably been trying to go to bank and get approved, and then you apply for credit cards, and you pray, or you see that little wheel and hope that they're going to give you an approval and not tell you that you're going to hear by mail in seven to 10 days. You get lost with online load app options, no idea of which ones to apply for. You apply, you get denied again and again, and you don't know why. You don't know what it takes to actually get approved. You fail to get the money because you think you're not lendable when you actually could be. You just don't know. Nobody believes in your ability to succeed. These are the kind of things that you're probably facing right now. They're what I faced when trying to recover with bad credit, no money in the bank, and try in a high-risk industry trying to get the money I needed to grow. But here's the great thing. In 90 minutes, we're going to cover all the stuff today. And then I'm going to stick around for a bit after to answer any questions you have so we can make sure that this actually works for you. So let's talk about these three six uh, these three secrets. And again, uh, Rebecca, hey, thanks for coming in. Christopher, thanks for coming in. Uh, Georgia, Nigel is in Georgia. Thanks for coming in. Jeff, hey, miss that Huntington Beach weather, Bertha. Yeah, we've got a tropical storm or something rolling in here. It's going to be pretty bad within uh, a few hours. You might even see this rolling in behind me. It's going to be pretty cool. So let's talk about these three secrets. Secret number one is called the fundability framework. It's how to make your business fundable. How to, This is how we stop denials. It's how we get automated approvals. It's how we have lenders chase you. And here's what I mean by that. There's two worlds. There's the world most of you live in where you're trying to chase lenders and credit issuers. Then there's the world that I live in because I know the three secrets where lenders chase me. They send me pre-screened offers. They're constantly calling me and texting me and emailing me with all these pre-approval offers and mailing me, right? It's almost annoying because I get so much pre-approved offers for credit and financing. How do we do that? How do we go from you chasing them to them chasing you? We're going to reveal that in secret number one. Now that's going to bring us to secret number two, which is called the business credit blueprint. And this is how to use the exact step-by-step -step blueprint that every one of the large, pub, largest publicly and privately owned company has used to get their business credit to be able to access unlimited business credit for your business. And the third secret is called funding fortunes. It's how we use business credit to access the funding you want when you want it. Now, I call this funding on demand. Look, it doesn't matter if you can get funding when it's convenient for lenders to give it to you. You need to get funding when you need to get funding. If I find the perfect opportunity to buy a property right now, I need to be able to get the money right now to buy that property. Because if I don't, somebody else is going to grab that property. And I could be looking for months more to find the right deal. Anybody that's proficient in real estate investing knows it's all about the right deal. And when that right deal comes up, you need to be able to grab it. You can only grab it if you have access to the money to do so. And that's what we're going to unlock here in secret number three. So let's unlock secret number one, fundability framework. So here's how I first discovered this. When I was trying to recover from the actual damage in the mortgage industry. And I was trying to go out there and get business credit. I kept failing. I kept getting denied. Then I ran into somebody that was the biggest, biggest bank business, biggest bank business banker. Say that three times or five. Biggest business banker at Wells Fargo. And, uh, and I told her what was going on in my life. And I said, yeah, my credit's bad and all these things are against me. And I'm not, I'm not getting approved because of that. She said, that's not why you're getting denied. I said, what do you mean? You don't understand. Like my time in business is new. I'm in a high risk industry. I've got bad credit. This is why I'm getting denied. She said, that's actually not why you're getting denied. Let me tell you why you're getting denied. She goes, I can tell you what happens from an underwriting perspective. Your business isn't structured where it's fundable. I said, what's fundable? I've never heard of that word before in my life. She goes, fundability is what lenders look at to determine if your business is credible. 
And right now your business is not set up where it's credible. You got to fix that. I was like, you're crazy, but oh, why not? I mean, I have nothing to lose. So I went through and followed her advice to make sure that I executed this fundability framework to get my business structured and set up the right way. And sure enough, I started to go out and get approved at the exact same sources that I had been denied for before. And it was the first time that I realized that just by fixing the stuff that lenders look at to not that, that where they see you not being credible, that one one thing and that one thing alone helps you start getting substantial amounts of approvals. It's what helps lenders to start coming after you because you structure your business the exact way that they want you to have it structured. So here's how this works. First of all, you got to understand what lenders are really looking for. And what lenders are really looking for is a credible business. Here, this is exactly what bank rate says. The number one thing you can do to secure the best loan is to make sure your business looks like a low risk borrower to lenders. They're just saying the same thing. If you want to get money, you got to look like a credible business entrepreneur. They call it credibility currency. Okay, Forbes, why would one industry qualify for more overall funding than another? Lenders consider businesses with some industries to be less risky and more likely to repay their debts. This is industry. This is one of 120 fundability factors. So the very first thing you have to do is realize that lenders are looking for a credible business. And what that means is it means that your business should have an EIN. Your business should be an LLC or a corporation. You should have a separate address and a phone number and an email address for the business. You should have a professional website. Okay. We actually just ran into this the other day with one of the credit issuers that issues business credit where they flat out told us we will not even lend or open up any credit for somebody that doesn't have a professional website. I mean, flat out, like if they don't have a professional website, we're not even going to deal with them, right? If we look at, for example, Walmart, Walmart will not approve anybody for a corporate card if you're using a home address. They just won't do it. So all of these things add up, and this is what's causing us to get denied. Have a separate license for your business. Have a separate bank account for your business. These are the kind of things lenders are looking for. The easiest way to describe it is when you fill out an application for credit or lending, you need to make sure that every item you're filling out on that application reflects that you're credible. If asked for a website and you're leaving it blank, you don't look credible, it's going to get you denied. But here's what trips people up. They still get some approvals. Amazon will approve you with the home address. Walmart won't. So if you get denied for Walmart, you would never know that it's a home address because Amazon approved you. You don't even realize it's a problem. So that's the way fundability works. Some credit issuers care, some don't. Okay, one credit issuer, credit key, they won't even approve you if you're not if you don't have a website. Others will and they'll have a problem with it. So we want to make sure that every aspect of our business is fundable to maximize our approvals. Once we do this, then we unlock all these pre-screened offers. We unlock these automated approvals and we stop a lot of what's taking place with denials. So the first thing is we got to understand what they're looking for. The next thing is, is we got to fix these issues to make our business look credible. So here, I'm going to ask a question and I want you to type it in the chat and tell me the answer. What is the number one reason that business owners get denied when applying for a credit card, a loan, or a credit line? What is the number one reason that business owners get denied when they're out there trying to get financing? If you don't want to go ahead and type it in the chat. I want to hear what you what you think right now, the number one reason that business owners have that are getting denied. Hunter says bad address. I love that, Hunter. Good guess on that. Nobody else is chiming in here. Nobody. Like I, Hunter is, okay, Tony says applying without an EIN. Okay, income for the last three years, three months is Nigel. Okay, so and more credit history, address is coming in, phone number is coming in. So here, let me tell you the number one reason. This is going to be shocking. The number one reason that business owners get denied for credit financing is because of fraud. They don't think your business is legit. They think you are a fraudulent business. That accounts for almost 60% of all loan and credit denials. It has nothing to do with address or phone number or, or EIN or income or credit score, nothing. So how can lenders think that so many people are fraudulent when a lot of them aren't? Because think about this. They're pulling up your application data. And then they're looking at Secretary of State online everywhere. And they're just trying to match the data. 
but maybe your address changed. Maybe your phone number changed. Maybe your spelling of your business is wrong in one of those places. Any of those things trigger an alert to the computer that tell them this is a potential fraud candidate. Then it goes in for manual underwriting. And then most of the time, the manual underwriter is not going to trump the computer that said it was fraud. Like their job's on the line. They're making 30, 40,000 a year. They're just going to agree with it. And the application gets denied and you never know why. You're like, oh, my credit was bad. I knew that. Yeah, my time in business is, is short. Yeah, my industry is high risk. You start thinking the denial happened to all these other things, but it didn't. It happened because your information on your application is incongruent with what else is out in the world. So we've got to make sure the business is set up where it's fundable. we got to make sure that all of our information is congruent with every listing that we all have online, our social media channels, our website, the Secretary of State, the IRS, Dunn's, uh, D, uh, Dunn and Bradstreet. You also need to make sure that you're doing the same thing with the business credit reporting agencies. Because if that information is incongruent, it makes it look not legit. They think it's fraud. They get you denied. It's why the, most business owners get denied. So this is why fundability is so important. When we legitimately fix fundability, we fix about 60 to 70% of the reason that we get applications denied. Now we have a significantly smaller risk rate, a risk to deal with to be able to turn around and get approved. So that's why this is so important. Now, step three, after we've structured the business the right way, is we want to come in and we want to also get access to the same data they have. Look, lenders have secret credit reports that we don't even know about. Check systems to look at our banking history. LexisNexis to look at everything about us. Most people don't even know about LexisNexis. LexisNexis has every vehicle you've ever owned, the VIN number, the insurance policy, every home you've lived in, the building materials of the home, the HOA, how many stories it was, the title company you closed, the loan that you got, the interest that you paid, every license you've had issued, every license you've had revoked, every public record through your lifetime. If you had a bankruptcy 70 years ago, it would still show on LexisNexis, even though it's not on your consumer credit report. See, as consumers, we're like, ha, 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 10 years passed. All the stuff is behind me. But what we don't know is that lenders are pulling reports that they can still see the bankruptcy 70 years down the road, 100 years down the road. So the bottom line is they're still seeing information about us we don't even know they have. And that's why they're denying us. But when we can tap in and get these secret credit reports they're using, then we get the reports, then we clean them up. We address anything that's negative, anything that hurts us. Now lenders are pulling reports they think that are secret that we don't know about. We already know about them. And we're already controlling the quality of those reports. Now we're secretly turning the tides where now we're showing them on the reports what we want them to see. And we're removing the ruse and reasons for denial. You see how when we combine these things, we stop denials. We're understanding what lenders are looking for, and we're structuring our business where we're super credible. Then we're going to the secret places they're getting data from. We're cleaning that up, painting the exact picture that we want them to see. And then as a result, they do a check. They see we're hyper credible. They do their checks on their back end. They see this exact low risk borrower that we want them to see. And that's what their computers will give us the automated approvals. That's where they start sending us pre-screened offers because we are exactly the person that they want to actually give money to. And that is how Secret One works. This is how we come in and improve this fundability framework to be able to create the world and the perception that lenders and credit issuers want. So we start getting this. We start getting massive amounts of business credit. You can just hear multiple people showing their wallets of credit that they've been able to get with this, right? And again, this isn't something I just figured out. This is something that took a lot of people, a lot of conferences. Like the one on the left is FinTech Meetup. These are, this is just a lender conference. I mean, that's all it is. All it is is high level lenders talking about how they underwrite, why they underwrite. Okay, so I go to these conferences to learn and get in lenders' heads. Then I'm able to figure it out, even get their underwriting guides. We go through all of this to be able to figure these things out and now serve it up to you on a silver platter. Go, this is the formula. If you do this, you get approved. If you don't, it's what's going to cause you to get denied. I'm not going to read this to you, but this is one of thousands of examples I could give you. The samples did the same thing. They went to get approved for an Amex card. They got denied. They went to get a loan. They got denied. Then we fixed one thing. Their application data didn't match their secretary of state data. We fixed one thing. We sent them back on their way to apply again. They got a no limit Amex from a denial to no limit. 
And then they also were turned around and able to get the loan that they wanted as well. And then last time I checked, they were uh, somewhere between a half a million and a million in business credit. Thelma had co-authored a book with Brian Tracy. They created multiple businesses in the media space, the tax space, uh, and multiple other industries that they're launching in all because they fixed their fundability foundation. It's how powerful this secret is for you. And Hankin came in and with a lot of good guesses as well on why people get turned down. And here's Herman Dulce, exact same thing with him. Hey, he says, hey, but Credit Suite, your one-on-one -on -one consultant calls you within 24 hours and they call five times uh, a week in the first two weeks. And then after that, they call me regularly as well, okay? My favorite line of credit I got using Credit Suite is a $10,000 Amazon car. Amazon, I used to purchase things low and sell them high on marketplaces. I was also able to get a $40,000 Amex. None of my accounts show up on my personal credit. So if I max them out, it doesn't hurt me personally. Okay, so again, and this, so I was able to purchase two properties in Cleveland, Ohio, and it has been a blessing. So here's a perfect example of Herman coming in, getting denied, fixing his fundability issues. Now he's able to get all of this money, and then he's able to start using the money to be able to invest into real estate on outside of growing his other businesses as well. And the best thing is, is this works for every single industry out there, right? Transportation, real estate investing, financial services, it doesn't matter what industry you're in. Lenders gauge risk the same way, and they're just looking to see if you are high risk. And this is why you even want to select the right NIACS code, NAICS code. You want to make sure you have the right industry code. But you might say you're in real estate, right? But you're not in real estate. There's over 30 subcategories of real estate. You need to know exactly what your right NIACS code is to make you low risk as well. So it's something you want to look into. When we remove the risk, we get approved. It's just as simple as that. And we can start to see a lot of these approvals that are coming in. $20,000 account here, $10,000 account on the right. Um, I'm going to zoom this in so you can see it. This is a $350,000 in financing that he got of just specifically for auto financing. He says, hey, and they'll read the letter. Thank you for your interest in financing through Calgon Ford. Uh, we are excited about the opportunity to service your business needs. Due to your business profile and credit, we are pleased to offer you a pre-approval of $350,000. And what did the guy say? He goes, hey, man. He goes, uh, I, when I got my truck, I, I, I could get, uh, when I got my truck from Ford, the guy told me I could get as many cars as I wanted. Uh, but I thought he was just talking. But now it got me thinking, Turo, here I come. This guy used business credit to buy his primary vehicle. He got hundreds of thousands in financing and launched a Turo business with it, right? So you can think about this, for example, of how much money you're able to get with a quarter million dollars or $350,000. You're buying a lot of smaller properties or you're buying a gigantic property and be basically using the equivalent of a DSCR loan. And this is even covering your down payment. So it just gives you an example of how much money is in play when you figure this out. And this is how we make our business funnel. This is how we stop denials, how we get automated approvals, how we get lenders to chase us and stop getting us denied. Now, that brings me to secret two. We've got to get secret one in place because it's really tough to get credit and lending if we don't have secret one nailed down. But once we nail down secret one, now we can start getting using the exact same step-by-step -step blueprint that all large companies use to get unlimited access to business credit. So when I figured this out, I now had fixed my fundability and I started to get approved. But something really interesting happened, and I'll never forget this. I applied for Staples. Now, I saw Staples application page. It said clearly I needed two things to get approved. I needed to have $1 million in revenue. I didn't even have hundred grand. And it said I needed three years' time in business. I didn't even have six months. And I was trying to get approved for Staples, and they denied me. I wasn't surprised. And I called them up and I act surprised. Oh my gosh, you accidentally denied my application. I don't know what happened. Why would you deny me? And of course, I expected the guy to say, your revenue is not high enough. Your time in business isn't high enough. But he didn't say that. He said, sir, we looked at your business credit profile and there's nothing there. And I was like, wow, that's really weird that he would say that because he didn't even mention time in business or revenue. I said, well, it's there. Did you look at my Dunn's number? He said, do you have your Dunn's number? I said, yes. I gave him my Dunn's number. He said, hold on. He looked off the phone. He came back. He said, okay, you're approved. I, I was in shock. I really couldn't believe it. I mean, here I am less than six months in business, horrible personal credit. I own a credit repair company at the time, which is about a high risk industry as you can get. 
And I'm applying for a card that says I need 1 million in business when I had less than hundred grand in revenue or 1 million in revenue. And, and I had no time in business and yet I got approved. So I didn't understand it, but what I did put together was that he needed to see a certain amount of accounts on my business credit reports to get me approved. So I applied for Office Depot and they denied me. And I called and said, oh my gosh, you accidentally denied me. What happened? And he said, sir, it's not an accident. We looked at your business credit reports. You don't have enough accounts on your business credit reports for us to approve you. I said, okay, well, thanks for letting me know. How many accounts do I need? He told me I hung on the phone. I'll never forget this moment because I sat there in absolute shock. Because for the first time ever, what I realized was that time in business and revenue did not matter, even though they had both told me it mattered on the application page. What both of them said was how many accounts you have on your business credit reports is what determined what I was going to get approved for. And so I had enough to get staples, but didn't have enough to get Office Depot. And as a result of that, we started to create what's called a tiering system. We started to tier the accounts that you can get. Now, then you need X amount of accounts to get to the next tier. Then you need X amount of accounts to get to the next tier, the next tier. The tiering system was what I developed to help other entrepreneurs through this. And it's why so many people get denied because they're applying for credit they're not able to get right now. They're applying for a Sam's Club MasterCard when they only have three accounts on their business credit report, and that one requires 14 accounts to get. And this is why people get denied. They apply for credit they're not yet ready to qualify for. And so once we figured this out, not only was I able to start getting approved for all this business credit, I started to map out the tiers that it took. Now, present day, Credit Suite has an entire data team that this is all they do. All they do is call every credit issuer and they get their underwriting guidelines and they put in order the accounts to apply for. So we stop denials from even happening, right? So keep in mind, you can be issued a failing business credit score even if you have no credit. So if we look at this, this is uh, about a higher risk as you can get. You can see here, high risk, very high risk. Why? We don't have any trade lines active, right? And we can see here all zeros. There's no credit on the credit report. But here's what's interesting. Once we even get one account added, we tell, go from very high risk to very low risk. Look, our reason changed. It's no longer the high risk because we don't have trades. Now it's just saying our accounts are fairly new and that's why we're higher risk or that's why we have some kind of risk. But look, 96 out of 100, our score went up because we added one account to our business credit reports. And by the way, I'll tell you which account this is as we, as we get a little bit later into this. Now you could see I went from that, that person went from 28 score up to that 93, 96 just because they added one account to their business credit reports. But here's what I was just telling you, and here's what most people don't know. Check this out. So there's something I want to show you. This is a very important box from Experian. This is your IntelliScore, score, which measures how you pay your bills. This is the financial stability score, your risk of closing your doors, ceasing operations, going bankrupt. This is how much money they're telling lenders to give you. $1,000. That was the first one we looked at, the person that had no credit. And then that one person added one account to their business credit reports, remember? And then they shot up, but look at what else you might have missed. Their credit limit recommendation went up two and a half times from 1,000 to 2,500. <laughs> Hold on, because what I'm going to show you is something you've probably never seen before, unless maybe you've seen it from me one time in the past, but this is the secret to unlocking business credit. Check it out. So now my credit limit recommendation went up to nearly 7,000. And I have two accounts on the business credit reports. Now, the credit limit recommendation went up to almost $16,000. And I have three accounts on the business credit reports. Now, my credit limit recommendation goes up to $66,000. And I have one, two, three, four accounts on the business credit reports. And now, my credit limit recommendation is to $724,000. And I have 15 accounts on the business credit reports. What we have figured out in helping 50,000 entrepreneurs through this is the more accounts you have on your business credit reports, the more tiers of credit become available and the higher your credit limit recommendation is from Okay, so if you've ever applied to get money and not gotten as much money as you wanted, ta-da! Now you know why.
Because what's happening is credit issuers and lenders are looking at what the bureaus are telling them and the bureaus are telling them that you don't deserve very much money because you don't have very much credit on your business credit reports. But as you add the credit, it starts raising it, raising it, raising it, right? Here we go. Boom, 7,000, 16,000, 66,724. And the key to unlock it all is just by adding more and more accounts to the business credit reports. Pretty cool, right? And premium coaching. Hey, for, for new tax pros, I appreciate you coming in. Herman is in the house as well. Chris is in the house. A Fletcher is in the house. Paula is in the house. Hey, everybody, thanks for coming in. So the first step to this is we've got to get immediate credit. Now, these are through starter vendors. Uline is one. Granger is one. When I showed you earlier, I said that person had one account and they went from high risk or high risk to low risk. That one account was Uline. It's a great account to start with. So we got to first get immediate credit. Now, there's two ways we can do this. We can start with vendors that don't require a guarantee or a credit check. Or there's another program called Credit Line Hybrid, write it down, Credit Line Hybrid, that if you have good personal credit or a guarantor that does, then they'll give you access to credit lines that report to the business credit reporting agencies. Either method you use, you need to get initial credit to build an initial credit profile and score. Most people do it through these kind of starter vendors. The next thing is we've got to monitor our business credit reports. Now, here's where it gets a little tough. NAV is one of the best ways to monitor it, although they're not that good. Their Equifax data is not reliable and their Dun & Bradstreet data is not reliable right now either. Equifax and Dun & Bradstreet are kind of in the process of shutting them off. So the problem is you can look at your reports there, but the information isn't very accurate. It's only accurate with Experian. You can also go directly to Experian and Dun & Bradstreet and get your credit reports from them. It doesn't matter what you do. You've got to monitor your business credit reports. Now, our clients use lender credit reports. So our clients use actual real lender credit reports to build their business credit. They see what lenders see, but we're not allowed. We don't have the uh, ability to release those to the public. Uh, our agreement with our credit report provider is that the only person that can get them are people actually using our software. So our clients are using lender reports. You can go to NAV and try those reports, although just keep in mind, they're not as accurate. So don't hold that against me. Or you can go to the bureaus and get your reports with them but you've got to be able to see those accounts reporting on your business credit reports. Then when we see these accounts report, we need about three to five on the first round of business credit building. Then the next round of business credit building, we start to get to retail credit. We start to get the fleet credit. Now keep in mind in round one here, we can use a program called credit line hybrid credit line hybrid will give us about $150,000 potentially in financing. So uh, this is the number one program that our real estate investor clients use to buy their initial properties. So we're getting credit line hybrid. We're getting starter vendor right out the gate. We're able to get money to start investing into properties and start fixing them up. Then we start getting into retail credit. Now, retail credits credited every major retailer. So think about labor ready, think about Home Depot, think about Lowe's, think about Amazon, think about homes stores, right? If we're going to stage properties, if we're going to do short-term Airbnb rentals, then we need everything. We need beds, we need clothes, we need uh, you know, sheets and 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 mattresses, we need uh computers for probably a computer in there for them. we need the appliances, we need all of the stuff that goes in the drawers, right? If we're building a property to fix and flip it or if we're fixing and flipping a property, well, then we got to rehab the property. We need to get floors. We need to get construction stuff. We need to get plumbers. Business credit will pay for all of that stuff. All of it, like all of it. Every single thing you need to put into a short-term rental furniture-wise, business credit will buy all of it. Everything that you're going to do to rehab the house, business credit will buy all of it. It'll pay for your plumber. It'll pay for the electrician. It'll pay for the flooring. It'll pay for the, the, the drywall. It'll pay for the paint. You'll be able to get credit at Floors and Decor and Home Depot and Lowe's and every other of these retailers. So now business credit, on top of helping you get the money to buy the property, now we're coming in getting all the money we need to fix up the property, to basically put everything in the property we need if it's going to be a short-term rental or a first long-term rental. So everything we need for that part of our business, business credit pays for now, the next thing is called universal credit. This is Visa card. This is MasterCard. This is American Express card. These are credit cards we can even take the cash out of and use to buy properties. So now we come to the very end of the process, which by the way, our clients get to in four to six months 
And now we're getting more money that we can liquidate to use to buy properties. So you start stacking the stuff together. You see what I'm saying? There's two parts of real estate investing. One, we got to buy the property. And two, we got to do whatever we're going to do with the property. We either got to fix it up if we're fixing and flipping it or fix it up if we're putting a long-term rental in there or a short-term renter in there. And if it's a short-term rental like Airbnb then or, or Burbo, then we've got to be able to come in. We've got to like stock the property with art and furniture and all that stuff. Business credit pays for all that stuff. Then we use Visa card, MasterCard, Amex, Universal credit cards or credit line hybrid to buy the properties. And now as a result of that, we're able to buy the properties. And then we're also able to come in and we're also able to use business credit to be able to do all the work in between. So now you don't have to take years to try to get approved. We're doing it in months. Now you don't have to apply and keep getting denied. Now with tiers of credit, you're only applying and getting approved. Now you don't have to make some progress, get more denials. Guess who will try to approve you, get it wrong and get denied. We it, All that stuff stops if you understand the tiering system and the orders of credit to apply for. And that stops you from getting frustrated and quitting like, uh, like Christine did right before she broke loose and got a million dollars in credit. And maybe where you were before you climbed in here and realized that there is just a basically a better way to be able to do this than what you have been doing. Okay, so this is the new way to do it, right? It's understanding this entire system. It's coming in. It's improving that fundability. We even have a fundability score that tells somebody what's wrong and what they need to fix to get their score up. The ability to access the funding, you'd be able to build business credit through a business credit builder. So that's really the new solution is you've got to come in and improve that fundability, then start walking through these tiers of business credit until you're successful. And this is uh, from Kylan Trower. Hey, uh, this is the best step-by-step paint-by-number system securing anywhere from 50000 to a quarter million dollars in business credit that reports on your business credit reports and helps you separate your personal and business credit. What I like most is you have access to actual coaches that take you by the hand and walk you through the system and answer every question you have. Just an amazing opportunity for small business owners. So Kylan was a gym teacher. Literally a gym teacher. He used business credit to launch a business in financial services, and he built that to a million-dollar-plus business. Needless to say, he's pretty happy that he's no longer a gym teacher anymore. And here's a look at what this looks like uh, with real approval. So here's Nicole. Hey, approved for a 2022 Honda Santa Fe. Uh, no personal guarantee, no money down. All they asked for was my driver's license. She's talking about how many trade lines she has. Here's a $10,000 universal approval, a $15,000 approval. Here's multiple approvals for <clears throat> five and 15,000. And there's another $12,000 approval, another $10,000 approval. You get the idea. By the way, uh, you'll see hundreds more of these on our website as well. I can see it for hours and just go through actual results. And again, it works for every industry, including those in real estate investing as well. And if we look at these applications, we see they're not asking for social security numbers. They're not even doing consumer credit checks all they're asking us for is our business information. And if our business credit reports and scores are established, that is what unlocks our ability to be able to get credit and financing. Here's somebody else that says, hey, just got approved to Sam's Club today. Walked in Sam's Club. Applied and got approved for a $10,000, no documents or anything. <clears throat> got approved for the first vehicle last month and got approved with Ally, no personal guarantee or money down on a 2022 Ford Explorer. Then got the finance manager as a new client. Finance manager had never even seen this happen and got her, his business as well. So just again, goes to show the power of what this can do. Here's somebody with a $25,000 approval here. Here's somebody else with another $10,000 approval here. Here's somebody talking about multiple different uh, unique vendors they got approved for to start building business credit there as well. $20,000 Amex, $9,000 Amex. $50,000 at Pilot Flying J, twelve five at Apple, a bunch of different approvals. I think you get the idea. So what do you think? Who here thinks that business credit is awesome now that we're starting to decode all of this and see the potential of how it works and unlock these tiers where now we're able to get unlimited access to business credit? I don't know. Is that you? If you think so, type it in if you think this is pretty cool on what the potential this actually has for you. So let's take a look at secret three. We've talked about the fundability framework. We've talked about the business credit bill blueprint. Let's talk about funding fortunes. This is basically how to get the money that you want when you actually want it. And again, I call this funding on demand because it does not help you to get money when you don't need it. If you're going to invest into real estate, you have to be able to get the money when you need it 
or you will lose out on the perfect property. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing you do, the very first step is you need to determine what your strengths are. Here's what I mean by that. Lenders are looking at one of three things, cash flow, credit, or collateral. Those are the three things that they're looking for. You need to determine if you have one of those strengths. Do you have some kind of asset that could serve up as collateral? Do you have cash flow in your business, which is consistent now? Do you have good personal credit or a guarantor that does? Have you established your business credit and are you using that as your basis to get funding? The first thing you need to do is you got to figure out which of these strengths you have right now. The next thing is, is then you can find the right funding program based on those strengths. You see, most people get denied for funding because they're applying for funding they just don't qualify for. It's as simple as that. I'll give you an example. Uh, one of my good buddies owns a company called Seek Capital. And Seek Capital has really phenomenal startup funding. But in order to get it, you have to have a good credit score. If I went into Seek and I had a 620 credit score, they wouldn't approve me for any money at all. Even if I did $1 million in revenue, they wouldn't approve me because their program isn't based on revenue. It's based on credit. On Deck is one of the biggest lenders in what's called MCA revenue lending space. I can go to On Deck with an 850 credit score and $5,000 a month in revenue, and they will not approve me because their approvals are not based on credit score. Their approvals are based on revenue. And I need 10,000 in revenue to get approved with them, even though they don't tell you that on their website. So if I'm not trying to get a loan, I'm applying for the wrong lender with the wrong strength. I get denied and I think nobody will lend me money. I go into my bank and try to get money and they deny me. Well, of course they are because a lender wants you to have good personal credit and collateral and cash flow. If you don't have that, you get denied. So the biggest reason that business owners get denied for loans or credit lines is they're applying for the wrong type of program because they don't have a strength to be able to get approved for that lender. So you have to first determine what your strength is, cash flow, credit, or collateral. If you don't have one, that's when we want to build business credit and building business credit gives us that strength. The next thing is we type the funding program that works for us based on that strength. If revenue is my strength, then I want to go with a revenue lender. If good personal credit is my strength, then I want to go to a program that's based on good personal credit. If I've got stocks, bonds, 401ks, IRAs, cryptocurrency, real estate that I own, then I want to go and find lenders that do that kind of financing as well. I've got to know my strength. Then I've got to determine the best funding program. Now, if I'm going to come in and I am going to do real estate investing as an example, well, then what I'm going to do is a loan called DSCR. A DSCR loan will give me 90% financing and it's stated income. I don't even have to actually show any income because the approval isn't based on my income. The approval is based on the amount of money I will get renting that property. So now I get a DSCR loan. I just need to put down 10%, period. My credit, again, my credit has to be pretty good to get a DSCR loan, but this is one of the best kind of real estate investing loans to get into. And I just need to have 10% down. Now, I don't need to buy a $150,000 house and have one hundred fifty dollars Now, all I need to do is buy a $150,000 house and have $15,000 down. Now, I can go get Credit Line Hybrid or a universal credit card, and I'm able to put that $15,000 down payment on, and I just got my first property. It's that simple. It's really not complex. When you're combining the right kind of funding and you're also combining business credit because business credit will get you the down payment for all of those loans. And by the way, you could have as many DSCR loans as you want to have. You could have a hundred of them if you want to. So a lot of income potential there, right? I'll give you an example, an extreme example here. One of my good buddies, Dan, who I injured myself. I know it doesn't look that way because I'm not all, uh, not all done up right now with like my sling and stuff. But I was supposed to go to France with him ne next weekend. I was not able to do it because I, I got an injury in Utah last week from falling down a mountain. But that, uh, the, that story aside, what Dan does is Dan invests in luxury uh, residential real estate. He literally buys and builds one to two and a half million dollar properties that he just uses to rent out on Airbnb. Is that crazy? Sounds crazy, right? He's got three properties right now. I sat with him at for Christmas. We I, I always get a group of my good friends together and we go to the restaurant for Christmas. And uh, he told me that last month he did $65,000 in revenue from those three short-term rentals. $65,000 a month from three short-term rentals. Now, here's the interesting thing is, is that he's using DSCR loans and only putting down 10%. 
So I'm helping him and he's getting the money for to put the 10% down on his own as well. And then he's using that money to come in and put down on these DSCR loans. He gets DSCR loans for seven figure different properties. Then he puts them into massive high end luxury rentals and rents them for like a thousand to three thousand dollars a night. And the result of that is he makes a crap load of money. That's what happens when you're investing in real estate and you start combining these things of funding and business credit as well. Then the last piece is we got to find the right lender. Once we know our strength, we find the right program, then we got to find a lender that likes our industry because a lot of lenders might not like real estate industries or real estate investors. So we've got to find the right lenders, the third step. And then the fourth step is we just get approved with confidence. And this is uh, Zakia. Zakia actually got 55000 as her first loan and she was a startup business brand, brand spanking a new business and got 55 grand. So again, enough for her to come in and get one to five different properties using DSCR financing and using the down payment to cover the down payment on those loans. And here's one of our clients, Sam. I won't read this to you, but he owned a martial arts studio. His He got it from his instructor. His instructor owned it for 30 years. He bought it with his buddy, Lonnie. Both of them are friends of mine. And then Sam said, hey, man, we're looking to expand in 18 months and get a second location. I said, why so long? He said, we got to get the money to do it. I said, Sam, we can get you the money. We started getting them business credit and multiple kinds of money. He opened a second location and his third location in that 18 months. So we helped him open his second location and an extra location. He didn't even know he could get done in 18 months. Then he's moving on. Last time I talked to him to get four and five pro uh, a different location and he's looking to franchise. Uh, and he's, his, his brand is Dragon Gym and Dragon Gym is like their, their swag is out there. They've got online training. So he's literally built this into a multi-million dollar uh, upwards of almost a franchise business just using this kind of strategy that I just showed you. And here's one of our clients, Dr. Brandon. Uh, he had bad credit, was trying to get financing to pay off a $417,000 tax lien, failed, about to give up. We came in and we got him the money to pay off the tax liens. We ended up getting him $1.5 million. He ran for public office. He was able to come in and get a second location. Uh, and again, he was also in the process of reinvesting into real estate as well. So how does somebody go from giving up hope, not getting any money, and can't get 400 grand to get 1.5? It's what I just showed you. See, the nice thing about this secret is once you figure out how to figure out your strength, then find the program, then find the lender, then what happens is you can start unlocking multiple different types of financing. Do what we invented and call funding stacking, where we stack so many different kinds of money because we get approved for so many and that gives you more money than you ever know what to do with. The reality is our real estate investors we do this with, they can't buy properties fast enough as they can't buy properties to keep up with the amount of money they're getting. They're getting too much money that's too quick for them to even be able to buy properties that fast. So it's quite interesting because that's exactly what happens when you start executing this formula. You actually get more access to the money that you need, uh, not struggling to get it. And like I said, business credit building, Getting money used to be hard with these three secrets and no longer is. And this is Andre uh, typing in a, a message here showing his results and saying, hey, uh, Ty, uh, thanks, Ty Crandall and team Credit Suite for showing us the business credit strategies to obtain over $100,000 in access to credit in five days with three different businesses. So you can see that when you have this right, it's not hard to do. It's just about executing these three steps. Once you get these three steps down, the fundability framework, the business credit blueprint, the funding fortunes, then it unlocks your ability to be able to get unlimited access to money through business credit. So that being said, uh, we're right on time. So I'd like to just see if it's okay if I ask you a question. Uh, there's a lot here. There's a lot to process and it may be a little overwhelming. So if you don't mind into the chat, would you type in, are you interested? And by the way, if you have questions, I'm not ignoring you. I'm going to come back at the end to get to those, but I still may cover those. And I want to make sure I get everybody the pertinent information. And then I'll stick around and make sure that I answer everybody's questions after. So um, who would like me to just talk a little bit more about how I can help you get a better result? If you don't mind, if you type into chat, yes. If you're interested in me, I've already kind of given you the rundown of the three secrets, but if you're interested in me talking to you a little bit more about how I can help you, then I, I want to go into that, but I want to be uh, pertinent. I want to be uh, respectful of your time. Nigel's like, yes, Jeff, yes, Hunter, yes, uh, Dean Ben, yes, Fletcher, yes, Christopher, yes. Okay, so let me let me spend a little bit more time here and show you the shortcut. I, I like shortcuts. 
Okay, so uh, this is what we can do if this is something that you're interested in helping you through this process. It's something called fundability. And fundability is basically a system that gives you all three secrets in one place. It's why we have all these testimonials online. They're not just five stars. They're people giving us all these comments. By the way, we have hundreds and hundreds of these online, uh, right? It's, it's because it's the only place you get these three secrets all in one place. And this is where our clients are getting all these approvals, right? 15 grand, nine grand, 10 grand. There's another $10,000 approval. It's a $25,000 approval. It's a $40,000 approval. I'm not even going to count the, well, actually, I don't have to count. They gave it to me. Here's 26 different approvals from one client. This, they did not, we were not so kind to number the approvals, but you get the idea. Approval one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you get the idea. These are people showing 20, 30 different approvals that they're able to get executing using this exact same system. Here's Marlon McKinney, for example. Hey, I was looking for a fast way to get money to grow my consumer credit business after failing to get approved for loans with several banks. I discovered Credit Suite after getting initial vendor credit. I continued applying and getting all types of credit. Now I have over 100 business credit cards in my wallet, totaling over $1 million in total available credit. I have fleet credit that I use for auto repairs and fuels. I have cash credit with most major banks, including Bank of America, Wells Fargo. I secured almost all this credit without a personal guarantee, without a personal credit check. I've been able to get loans with many sources that include PayPal, Cabbage, at low rates, and loan amounts over 100 grand. So another example of what happens when you put it all together. Uh, here's a $24,000 approval, a $22,000 approval, 15K, 10K, 50K, right there. As you can see with Amex, this is what happens when we execute the formula. And by the way, if you've been keeping up, you've seen I've shown you approval after approval after approval after approval. Then I've shown you actual case studies. Then I've shown you like snippets of people's actual posting their results with their pictures of the results they're getting. So, I mean, there's this overwhelming amounts of proof here that the system works for just about anybody in any type of industry. This does not, it's not restricted based on your industry. Real estate investors, no matter what industry you're in, you can get this. It works for brand new and existing real estate investors. It works for for-profit and non-profit companies. It works for resident aliens. Even if you don't live in the United States, you're still able to do it. It works for brand new startups with no revenue, entrepreneurs with challenge credit. It works for you if you don't have collateral, if you've been denied before, even if you're buying a new business, no matter what your scenario is, business credit will work. So if you don't think it will work for you, don't worry. Okay, we have done this for over 50,000 business owners over 12 years. We're going to show you how any business could do this, including real estate investors. Real estate investors is one of the hardest industries to fund. So, so many come to us and think there's no hope and we start getting them all of these approvals and they're flabbergasted. They're like, how did you even do this? Because we serve tens of thousands of real estate investors. We know what it takes to be able to get you the funding you need. So again, uh, who this works for? Well, business credit is the only solution that you're able to get money if you don't have one of those strengths. If you don't have cash flow, if you don't have credit, if you don't have collateral, you're still able to get business credit. So what can you get? How can we do this for you? Well, the very first thing we're going to do is give you access to the, the fundability system to fix your fundability foundation. We're going to help you choose a business name that's not high risk. We're going to help you set up your entity, get your EIN, choose the NIAX code that puts you into a low risk category, not a high risk category. We're going to help you get your address, your phone number, your website set up the right way, get you listed in the preferred directories, help you get the right business licensing, email address, do the compliance check that lenders are going to use. We're going to help you get your bank account set up the way that lenders want it. We're going to get you access to your bank credit scores, your bank rating. Most people don't even know that that exists. We're going to help you figure that out, get access to that as well. We're even going to help you get access to a merchant account. If you do need to accept credit cards, you might not as a real estate investor, but if that's something you need, we're going to help you with that as well. Everything in the fundability foundation framework. We even have your own fundability score to show you how fundable your business is. And I'll show you that as well. And you're going to be able to get rid of not knowing what lenders are looking for and getting denied and not knowing why you're getting denied and trying and failing to get credit or trying to guess what your NIAX code is or trying to figure out how to set up your business where you're lendable or chasing lenders where you're trying to chase them instead of them actually chasing you. Okay. So all of these things, and I'm going to show you the exactly what it looks like here as well. You're able to actually get approved. You're able to actually solve for. So here, I'll show you what this actually looks like. So if we come here to fundability, this is how we've done it. 
we plug in with the exact same lender credit reports that lenders are using and we tell you where you're wrong. We tell you, hey, your business isn't qualified for financing because of this reason. So watch this. I'll show you. This is one of the coolest things. By its way, it's the only place it's possible. See how my score is 594? Here's where I want my score to be 890. This is where I'm super fundable. I'm not super fundable. Why am I not fundable? Now, I can look at the application process lenders put me through. I can look at these secret credit reports lenders have. I can look at my business credit reports, my financials. But in this case, I'm going to look at that fundability foundation. Everything looks good except for this. I'm not good here. So I'm going to come in and it says, do you have a business phone? I say, yeah, I have a business phone. Here is my business phone. 487. It's actually through Ring Central. And then I'm going to save it. Now, you kept in mind, our, our my score was 594. Now, when I pull up the new score, see how it instantaneously went up? So we're actually looking at the same data that lenders use. We pull it into the system and then we tell you where you're off and where lenders are not going to approve you. Then we help you approve every single aspect of your fundability through these five fundability factors. And then you see your score go up in real time and the higher your score, the more credit and financing becomes available. It's that simple. And by the way, this is the only place something like this exists. And this is how you're able to know exactly the kind of money that you're able to get. We stop these denials, right? We save time and money. And this works for every kind of industry, especially real estate investors. We help tens of thousands of people in that space alone. And this is one of the biggest things we've done to help them turn around from getting denied to getting approved. Now, the next thing we're going to do is tack in, type in that business credit building blueprint, right? We're going to help you get set up with Dun & Bradstreet, with Equifax Experian. We're going to help you get your Dun's number, your file subject number, your BIN number from Experian. We're going to, we have the largest supply of starter vendors and retail credit, fleet credit, auto, uh, universal credit, auto financing, right? We've got advanced vendors that don't even report, but they'll still give you credit based on business credit quality, places like Apple and Best Buy, right? We show you how many payment experiences you can get with each account, the payment terms that they offer. Here, I'll check this out. It's called our business credit builder. And our business credit builder walks you through every single step of building your business credit from getting set up with a reporting agency to getting access to real credit. But here's where it becomes super cool. You're not going to just see some list of sources that you may be able to get. This system is plugging into information you're supplying and your business credit reporting data. It sees how many accounts you have on your business credit reports now, and it's only showing me the accounts that I can actually get. All these accounts I can already get right now, or they wouldn't be shown. So the system eliminates the chance that you're going to get all these denials because it's only showing you the accounts you can actually get approved for. So if I want to come in here to go to Murphy USA, it tells me everything that Murphy USA does. It tells me where they report. Here's why this is important. The reporting of an account to a reporting agency is called a payment experience. So Murphy USA gives me three payment experiences because it reports to Equifax, Experian, and Denver Bradstreet. It's way more valuable than Office Garner that only reports to Equifax. That means if I get more accounts like Murphy USA that gives me three accounts, then it takes me much fewer accounts to be able to get to the next tier of credit. This is why our clients get to the end of business credit building in four to six months. An average person takes three years because they don't know what accounts to apply for. With us, we're telling you every account you can get approved for. We're telling you the payment experiences they give you, the terms they give you. And then if I want to get approved, check this out. I go here. I say, yep, I want to get approved. I'm going to go apply now. And I am lazy. So because I'm lazy, I might not want, and this isn't me, by the way. This isn't my site. This is Murphy USA. See the little wheel? Murphy USA. It's running a little bit slow today. But then what will happen is I'm able to actually come back to funding manager, and I'm able to type in right here, copy. In one click, I copied my information, and I'm able to paste it into the application. Now, I can't do anything about Murphy USA site running slow today. So I, what I will do, though, is I'll get us another source instead. So let's say here I want to go to Uline. Same thing. I come here to continue. I'm able to open up. Oh, wait, here we go. The credit application. So now I'm able to come in here and just copy 
in one click and then come in here and I'm able to just paste. So it's that information, it's that simple to copy and paste information from the system into the application and apply. Literally, it makes it so easy that what happens is we're able to get approved very quickly. And again, it's all based on the tiers of credit that we actually have. So we're able to come in and we're able to actually build business credit step by step with tiers that we actually know that we're going to get. Pretty cool, right? And this is how we simplify that process and take all of the guesswork out of it. Now, you're able to get rid of paying DMB $1,500 for credit monitoring, not knowing how to get a, a, your report set up with DMB Equifax Experience, having failing scores because you have no credit, not knowing where to get starter vendors or which accounts you can get approved for, which accounts uh, to apply for in which order, or not being able to get high limit accounts, all of that, or not being able to get auto financing. We eliminate all of that because we're able to do this in a step-by-step -step way. And by the way, business credit will get you 90% of what you need to buy. Even if you can't get any other kind of lending, business credit is still able to come in and get you up 90% of the money that you actually need to buy. Now, on top of that, you're also able to get access to financing fortunes. And this is where we're able to get you access to every single kind of financing that exists today. Now, every kind of business financing means that you can tap into all these different ways to get money. You can stack funding to get even more. You can get house flipper financing, which is specifically designed to flip houses. You can leverage stocks, bonds, 401ks, uh, IRAs. You can leverage cryptocurrency, all of these different ways to get the money that you actually need. And check this out. It's pretty cool. We're able to come into Funding Manager. We get so much money through fundability, we can actually manage all of the approvals that we're getting. And if we want business funding, we click on business funding. Oh, whew, I love this. I love this. I love this. So I'm able to see the accounts I can get approved for. All There's Credit Line Hybrid. All the rates, the terms, the qualifications, everything. I can submit to a finance specialist and engage them right here in chat to actually execute the application. I'm able to find out what makes me a strengthening factor to get approved, why I was able to get approved for that funding program. But here's my favorite part. This one, I don't match with. See how I matched? I'm able to see the funding I cannot get. And I'm able to come in and figure out why I can't get it. So literally, it's telling me there's a problem with my bank account, and I can click this, go back to fundability, fix it, and it opens up this category of funding. For the first time ever, you are actually able to see every type of business funding you can get, every type of business funding you can't get, why you can't get it, and in clicks, you're able to fix the underlying problem to unlock more types of funding. It's why we call it funding fortunes, because it literally opens up every legitimate type of funding for you, matching the money you can get, telling you the money you can't get and why, and then helping you simply come in and fix the stuff that would get you denied so you can come in and you're able to get approved. So this is how we stop denials. This is how we stop not knowing what type of money to apply for. This is how we stop lenders not liking us because we're high risk. This is how we stop not being able to get the best kind of loans like term loans and SBA loans. We can fix all of that using this fundability system, right? And again, even if we can't get lending, we're still able to get business credit. It still gets us everything that we would need to be able to fund our business. And fundability system does all of those things in one shot. Now, as we already talked about, the next thing you're going to get is the actual fundability score that tells you where you're off and what to fix to be able to get approved. Once we did this for clients, this is where they just stopped getting denied because in real time, they're able to figure out why they're not getting approved, fix it, and then turning around and getting approved. And the next thing, again, is we tie into this funding explore. And the funding explorers where you can explore all the types of financing you can get and unlock even more funding for you so you don't get denied and look like I do in this goofy picture here. The next thing is these trade vendor match where we're matching you with all of those vendors. And that way you're only seeing the ones you can actually get approved for so you don't get denied and get frustrated, right? And on top of all of that, you're also going to get access to your own business credit coaches. 
So these are advisors that literally help you through the process of getting approved. Okay, we use the same strategy CIA uses to be able to teach their operatives. Andrew Bustamante taught me, an ex-CIA agent, and he taught me this because I learned to shoot guns from him. I'm not a shooter. I'm, I'm not against it. I've just never been a shooter, right? I never, my parents never really were shooters. I'm never a shooter. So we went out there and he said, dude, I'm going to teach you to be a proficient shooter in one day. You're going to be able to shoot. You're going to be able to shoot moving targets. You're going to be able to shoot while people are shooting at you. You're going to be able to shoot getting in a car, getting out of a car, undercover. I said, that's ridiculous. And by the end of the day, I was doing it. I was. I got plenty of videos on my social, me getting out of cars, shooting targets, people shooting at me, me tucking and rolling. All these things, I learned, how did I do it in a day? Andrew taught me. He said, normal people learn in a little curve like this. He said, the way the CIA learns is you learn like this, and then it's hockey stick. Because you're getting real-time correction when something goes wrong. And that's how they trained me. I would mess up. they say, no, no, no. You've got to – I threw my shoulder out, so I can't do that properly. You've got to hold your palms in like this when you hold the gun. I didn't know that. Never knew that. He said, instead of adjusting your sight because you're shooting high, then do this. And all of a sudden, these little things and corrections in real time helped me get an insane result in a short period of time. We took that same strategy the CIA uses, and that's how our coaches coach. They're real-time correction. Five times the first five days, they call you. They help you through fundability. They recommend the sources that you should be applying for. That way, you super fast fly through the process to be able to start getting results even faster, right? And then on top of that, you're also able to get real business credit reporting data. Now, you're going to pay 69 bucks a month for the credit monitoring that we have, but it's actual real lender credit reports. Here, I'll show them to you. These are real lender credit reports right here. We're the only company that offers them unless you're an actual lender. So you can see right here, the same scores, the ratings lenders are using. This is how they determine how much money you'll get approved for. This is where we can see balance, derogatory, credit utilization. Remember we talked about the number one reason you're turned down is fraud. We teach you the fraud flags. You actually can access the same fraud flags that lenders see. The number of employees you have, your revenue numbers that the bureaus have. All of this information is here, even including all of your public uh, public uh, or your uh, the public collection information, bankruptcies, judgments, UCC filings, all of that. We're even helping you access LexisNexis, check systems, and the other secret credit reports that lenders are actually using to approve you. So again, now there's no more denials. There's no more frustration. All of these things are resolved. And then we're also getting you a finance strategist to help you go through and find the right financing for your business as well. Because when we incorporated this, this is, we get our clients approved for so much funding, they get overwhelmed and confused. And that's why we actually put in the finance strategist because the finance strategist helps you navigate through all of that funding so you're able to actually get approved for more money. And this is why it's so easy for our clients because we do all of this with a combination of software and coaching support. So let me ask you this. Look, if all it did was set up your business where it was credible, fundable, stop denial, started getting lenders to chase you, would it be worth it? Or if all it did was help you build your business credit report quickly and easily to unlock unlimited credit, would it be worth it? Or even if all it did was just get you access to every type of business lending that you can get approved for, tell you why you're getting denied, tell you what to fix, would it be worth it? Because this system does all of these things in one. So you got a couple options. First of all, you can do nothing. Keep on the path that you're on. You know the results you've been getting. If you're happy with those results, continue on the path that you're on. The second thing is, is invest in yourself, okay? Because honestly, you could do so for a small investment compared to the massive amount of money you get out of this. And again, give us a shot. 50,000 plus entrepreneurs have done so. And our ratings online, our reviews uh, speak for themselves on, on how powerful this has been. So what if you only got 50,000 from this or 100,000 from this? You saw multiple people getting one card for 10 or 20 grand. You saw multiple people getting $25,000 to $50,000 individual approvals. You saw multiple people getting million dollars in credit. We saw Christine. We saw Marlon. We saw people like Kylan getting a quarter million dollar plus. We saw the samples getting a half a million. If it only gave you a hundred grand, would it be worth it? It's things to ask. We used one of our business credit accounts to do this. This was our lead flow. We tested Facebook. We realized it worked. We scaled it on one credit card. We went from 1,200 leads to 6,000 to now 8,000. We're now at 9,000 leads a month that we bring in. We used one more credit card to do this. 
to take us from $100,000 a month in revenue to nearly $100,500, right? So we basically added about $600,000 in revenue on a whole different time using one card to be able to scale our marketing efforts. So again, how much would you get? What would you do? How much would you be able to buy in real estate if you had unlimited access to business credit? So how much is this going to be? I'm sure you want to know, right? Well, I already showed you the value. It's well over 24 grand. You can see we could sell this thing for seven, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000. There's nothing like it that exists with software and coaching, right? But right now you're able to get it for $29.97 for 12 months access, or you're able to break it down into $497 a month. And you can also finance this. We could finance this for you. So we can actually finance this for, I don't even know if I'm allowed to tell you this, but I can tell you that it's about less than half of this. So we can also have multiple sources that can finance this for you, give you uh, financing over time, and then they're able to get your payments down to about half of the 500 bucks. And by the way, if you can't afford this, we also have the fundability system without coaching where it's about half as much as well. And I wanna throw in some bonuses for you today to make this a no brainer. The first of which is called Business Grants Secrets. So I put together an entire course teaching you every single thing you need to know to get free money for your business for real estate investing through grants. We're talking about getting local grants, state grants, training on federal grants, training on private grants. I'm going to show you grant one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to show you examples. I'm going to teach you how to write your business plan, how to put together a grant proposal, and give you access to thousands and thousands and thousands of grant providers and platforms to get you even more money. On top of that, I'm also going to help you get money from angel investors and also from venture capital. So let me ask you something. Did you know that there is private equity money available strictly for real estate agents? Did you know that one of the biggest categories of private money is specifically for real estate investors? So that's exactly what this, this, this course teaches you, how to get angel investing, how to be able to get venture capital, we're teaching you equity crowdfunding, which you can actually use specifically for the purpose of buying real estate. We're teaching you the platforms, the funders, all the things that you need, even how to put together a sensational pitch deck and access the thousands and thousands and thousands of different private equity sources. All of that comes in here so you can do what most people don't even think of. Go to private investors that will actually give you the money you need to invest into real estate. See, most people don't realize that they're investors that have money but don't want to do the work. They want you to do the work, and then they want to give you the money to do it. And that's exactly what this key course teaches you to do, to tap into private money to be able to get the money you need. And we sell each one of these courses for a thousand bucks. I'm throwing in each of these courses for you at no cost. And I'm also going to throw in one other kind of course, that we charge for a thousand bucks for called the peer to peer funding accelerator. The P2P funding accelerator, peer to peer lending is the biggest kind of lending that's available right now. You can get it even if you aren't in the business yet, you can get it as a business. There's, there's P2P lending that looks at personal income and P2P lending that looks at business revenue. Either way, this is one of the easiest ways we found for real estate investors to tap in and get money to invest. And I'm going to throw in this $1,000 course as a bonus as well. All you have to do is go to creditsuite.com forward slash WBN. Again, you willing to invest in yourself or stay on the path that you're on? Uh, the real question is, is it worth gambling a few minutes of your time to check this out? When even if it does half of what I've claimed, it's going to pay for itself 10 times over when you get your first approvals. So the Fundability Foundation Framework, the Business Credit Build Print, the Financing Fortunes, Fundability Score, Fundability Explore, Trade Vendor Match, Business Credit Coaching, Affordable Business Credit Reports, the Finance Strategist, all of that you're getting in the Fundability system. And then on top of that, you're also going to get the first, these bonuses, we reserve it for the first 20 that enroll. It's that simple. So if you're enrolling today, you're going to get the bonuses. If you're enrolling tomorrow, I can't tell you that. Usually within about 24 to 48 hours, we fill those 20 spots. And so if you want those bonuses that are worth three grand on top of that, then make sure you get in as one of those first 20. And don't forget that you're also able to come in and do it in one payment, do it in monthly payments. We can even get you payments less than half of this amount if we get you financed through another source or if we get you the fundability system without coaching. So again, the most comprehensive system to get you a quarter million dollars plus of money to invest into real estate and also to get you unlimited access to money to continue to buy more and more real estate and build an empire. 
in a very short period of time. I promise you I'm going to stick around for questions. I'm going to do so. i got about 30 minutes. 3 o'clock, I go into a secret webinar for our partners. Our partners offer business credit lending all around the country, and I do a private webinar. Most people don't know, know that I do this. I've done this for 12 years where I teach them how to build a successful seven to eight figure business. I'm going to that at three o'clock. So I've got a little bit of time. I'm going to jump in here right now into the chat and answer any, all the questions you have. So you can answer them in Q and a or chat if you're on the webinar or just type them in if you are on the live stream and I will make sure that they are answered. Uh, okay. Delanda, I think I'm just I'll, I'm looking to make sure. Uh, put coaches and they bailed Delanda. Yeah. But Delanda says, Hey, I've paid several coaches and they bailed out. Not fair. Yeah. And that is the problem, right? Is that's the problem with having unreliable coaches. So I definitely relate. And that Hakeem says DSCR loan can't find that in the dictionary of real estate terms. You can easily look for DSCR on Google and find a lot of information about it. Uh, a DSCR loan is basically a debt service coverage ratio. That's what DSCR is. And what it basically means is it means that they want the property to cash flow. They want the property to make money. And if they see that you're getting into a property that uh, you're going to pay $1,000 a month for a mortgage payment. It's generating, uh, you know, let's say $1,250 or more in rent. Then that qualifies for a DSCR loan. In most cases, they usually want you to have about 1.25% of like whatever the actual mortgage payment is. They want you to cover in rent. So if you're bringing in about 25% more than the mortgage payment is, then it qualifies. You put 10% down, you get a DSCR loan because the property itself qualifies. Your income doesn't have to be used to qualify. So Hakeem, hopefully that helps you. Uh, but I appreciate you typing that in and saying hello to a lot of different people. A graphic design company, only six months old. Christopher, congratulations. Uh, and you are in Georgia. Thanks for coming in. We talked about that as well. I'm going to get to all the questions here. And uh, Lee, let's go, Jeff. I love that. Uh, we have all three, but our cash flow is only 3 k a month after expenses trying to increase that, but have been using personal credit to get there so far. So here's what's interesting, Jeff. One of the best starter vendors that we have is, helps people with marketing. And what I like about that, in, in the example of the samples, it was a testimonial. They used a solution to get what the help they needed with marketing. Then they used that to grow their revenue. Then with the revenue grown, they used that to qualify for revenue financing. So just an example of how business credit that doesn't isn't based on revenue can help you get the money you need to then generate more revenue. Then you use the even higher revenue you've generated to then qualify for more loans. That's how a lot of our clients do it, Jeff. So hopefully uh, that helps you there as well. Okay, and uh, Christopher says, "Hey, what is the turnaround time to receive 10K? I've already been check. Uh, I already have a checking account with BOA and business for only six months. Have a Duns Nyx code. Thanks in advance." So, Christopher, uh, there's a couple different ways to look at this. You could get. Uh, let me cover it two different ways. I like to mentally break it down into two different uh, two different pillars: business credit and lending. Lending are credit lines, and loans, and business credit is business credit. So, if it comes down to lending, how long does it take to get 10 grand? You could get 10 grand within 72 hours uh, or less than a week if you have a lendable strength. Do you have good credit? Do you have collateral of some sort? Do you have cash flow? Let's say over 10 grand a month. If you have e any of those three, you could probably get that 10 grand within the first week. If you don't, then and you go to business credit building and business credit to get 10 grand, then the question becomes do you mean 10 grand in cash credit, Visa card, MasterCard? Or do you mean 10 credit, $10,000 in just general credit you can get for any and all purposes? Uh, that will depend on you, meaning that you're the one that determines how much you get and how fast because you're the one applying. But our normal, typical clients would get 10 grand or more within 60 days or less. Uh, you could easily get it within the first 30 days just from starter vendors. You could get financing to run ads. You could get financing for office supplies. You could get financing for swag and all this other stuff. So it really just depends on those variables. But if you have a fundable strength, you could get 10 grand within a week. Um, if not, you could get it in a very, very, very short period of time. One of my clients that was on my last webinar, she had gotten $30,000 in funding her first month, to give you an example. But there are variables there on your situation. So give us a call and we can definitely talk to you about your scenario and tell you that answer based on your scenario instead of talking generalities like I am now. What's the turnaround time to receive? Okay, we did just answer that. Is there SBA loan available for new businesses? Yes, there is. It's not easy to get and we can help you with it, but it is out there. So SBA loans, most people think are only for established businesses. You can get an SBA loan for a brand new business, but in order to get it, you've got to have really good personal credit and really good financials like P&L, 
the balance sheets, that stuff. If you've got really good personal financials and really good personal credit, you absolutely can get an SBA startup loan. If you have questions on that, give us a call. Our number's right here. We could talk to you a little bit more about that as well. Okay, so um, so does your personal credit have to be good? So LaConstance asked this from Facebook. No, personal credit is not looked at with business credit. Well, actually, let me rephrase this. That's your choice. When you apply for a business credit card, you are either giving a personal guarantee, which means you're liable for that card and you're giving them a credit check, or you're not. Our system is designed to get you all of this credit without a personal guarantee, without a personal credit check. Now, we are going to give you sources that you can get if you want to provide a guarantee. Some of our clients do. But if you don't want to provide a guarantee or your credit's not good, you're still able to do everything we talked about today because there's a lot of funding you're able to get based on other factors like revenue or cash flow. The other thing is, is that business credit is not based on personal credit. So yes, you're able to do this regardless of personal credit. And what is the price to start today, BJ? We did talk about this and La Constance, you are welcome. Anonymous attendee. Ooh, anonymous. So secret. How do you build business credit with multiple companies that all correlate with each other? Does your program go over that? Yeah, absolutely. So let me give you an example here. If I pull up fundability right here and I want to do this, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here and I'm going to follow the steps and execute the steps for multiple businesses. I'm going to come into my trading on address. I'm going to make sure that my address meets the criteria. I'm going to do the same thing for the next uh, the next business. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to make sure I have the right type of entity. I'm going to do that for my next business. I'm going to go through every step of this process and I'm going to do it for multiple businesses at the same time. And you heard that from one of our testimonials. They said, I got like however much money it was, a quarter million dollars or something in like three weeks and I did it for multiple businesses. Well, that's because they just followed the steps. But when they got set up with DMB, they did that with all of their businesses, Equifax, all of their businesses. So that's how you do it. You just go through the steps, enter one of your company's information in the system, but follow the same step for multiple businesses. And that's how it will work for you. A lot of our clients are coming in and you heard a lot in a lot of the testimonials. A lot of our clients are coming in and doing this for multiple businesses. Prices on website are lower than those on the slide, which is correct. Those are not for fundability from what I've actually seen. Uh, but I will pull that up and look at that right now, creditsuite.com. So I'll pull that up and let me get back to you on anonymous user as I'm answering other questions right now. Okay. Um, I will need to be financed if I can. I'm disabled and can't do the medical work that I've used. Then that's no problem. We have a lot of different options available for you uh, based on your ability. And somebody just said that about the website, but this is our website. If you go to creditsuite.com and you go to pricing right here, um, there's a couple different kinds of pricing. This is our main pricing right here, and you're able to see that. And then, which you, you can see that our, our prices, we're just giving you like a bunch of extra different bonuses here. Um, and, and so the price is the same. You're just getting a lot of different bonuses with this that you don't get online. And then if you're interested in becoming a partner, you can see that those prices are here too. But, uh, but obviously considerably higher, right? We start talking about 5,000. Uh, do we've got programs as high as 7,500 bucks? So hopefully that answers that question. I don't know exactly where you're looking online, but hopefully that answers that question for you. Okay, and now, and, and, and Levi, no problem. We can finance this for you. Look, this should not be the issue. If you are saying I can't get started because I don't have 500 bucks a month, it's not a problem. We offer the fundability system without coaches for about half of the price and then we also have financing sources that could finance it for you that could lower this down even lower than that. So don't forget that we can absolutely work out special pricing or lower payments for you. All you have to do is just give us a call and we can talk to we can talk about that directly for you. And Nigel says, hey, can this help me to purchase new trucks to expand my business considering that the business has has not made much money? Yeah, absolutely. You heard from Christine. Christine went from a one truck operation to 50 truck operation. And the interesting thing about what she says in her testimonial is it helped her attract better customers, meaning she was getting bigger contracts because those people that were giving the truck drivers the contracts were looking at business credit. And when they saw how good her business credit was, she got more contracts and then bought a bigger operation from it. So we have specialized financing for you to buy big rig trucks. Yeah. And then we also have tons and tons and tons of fuel cards. Uh, with like ten to thirty thousand dollar limits, you even saw a fifty thousand dollar limit today with Pilot Flying J to fuel those trucks. So yeah, to answer your question, Nigel, we can get you the money you need to buy the truck, 
We can also get you the money you need to finance or to be able to get the fuel for the truck as well. Give us a call. We can talk a little bit more about your unique situation. And I want to make sure that I've got uh, the questions answered here. Okay. Uh, seeing tenth K is there SBA loan? Okay. So we did, we talked about that. All right. So this being said, um, hopefully you got a lot of information today. You learned the three secrets that we've discovered in the last 12 years to help 50,000 people successfully get business credit. Even if you walk away from this, don't work with us and you just go through this on your own, you at least now have enough information to successfully navigate through business credit building. Then on the other side of things, there's just a faster and easier path working with us. You can see what our tech does. When you combine our software with our coaches, this is how you get to that result in four to six months without waiting, you know, three years to get there. And by the way, our, this isn't you wait six months to get money. Our clients are getting money the first week that they're working with us. They're starting to get starter vendors. They're starting to get funding right away. And then it just builds and builds and builds and builds. Our goal at, internally, we call it easy wins. Our goal is to give our clients as many easy wins as possible, which means what are the ones that are the easiest sources to get you approved for now? And then we just get it's like a snowball, just keeps building momentum uh, to be able to get you more and more money. Pretty cool. But again, now you have access to the tech. You have access to the team. I'm giving you $3,000 worth of extra bonuses with three courses that help you tap into private equity, peer-to-peer -peer lending, and grants as well. And we will work with you on pricing and payments. We've got multiple ways to do it. We can get you funding to buy. We've got multiple financing sources that can finance it for you. One of them even reports the payments to Dun & Bradstreet. So you're even building business credit at the same time. Another one of our funding sources goes down to a 520 FICO score. So even if your credit's horrible, you're still able to get approved. And then we can get your payments even lower, even less than half of this. But again, you don't know unless you contact us. So contact us and we can talk to you a little bit more about that. And creditsuite.com forward slash webinar. Oh, I think you know what? Matter of fact, now that I think about that, um, what, I'm, what we are going to do, and I think I already did this, but I just did, and this is what somebody was saying, is I don't think that I uh, updated my slides today. I don't think I did that properly. So this is, and this is what somebody was saying, and I misunderstood. Um, I, one thing, I, you're right, I, I forgot to update my slides. So for those people that even stuck around for this portion of the q and I'm going to give you something even more special. Here it is. If you go to creditsuite.com forward slash webinar, um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we get you 20% off as well. So instead of paying $29.97, it's only going to be $24.94. So you're able to break that down and get a 20% discount here. And again, this here option is, um, I think it's like with, uh, so this kind of gives you a discount here as well. So you can check that out at creditsuite.com forward slash WBN. So if you have any questions, give us a call. We'll talk to you more about this. But again, now we're giving you a discount, $3,000 worth of bonuses. We can work with you on affordable payments, all pretty cool things. So if you have any questions, give us a call or go to creditsuite.com forward slash WBN to get started. I'm going to do one final check for questions here. Let me make sure I got them all. Uh, let's say I got that. Okay. So if you have any other questions, give us a call. 877-600-2487. We'd love to work with you and help you get business credit and lending for your business. So give us a call. We'll talk to you a little bit more about specialized payments prices for you. Uh, and we can answer specific questions about the type of money that you're able to get, the time frame you're able to get it as well. So make sure you give us a call. And I look forward to helping you get unlimited access to business credit and helping you get your first quarter million dollars within six months or less. Thank you for